Hello and welcome back everyone to Space Simulation Toolkit. And today we are going to be seeing what happens if we continually increase gravity until Earth becomes a black hole. To make this possible, we've increased the maximum uh, velocity and the maximum gravity in this simulation, so hopefully we can get something pretty interesting. This planet just has one gravity node here, which is going to be doing all the fun stuff. And uh, to start, it's at 0.25 multiplier. So let's increase it and see what happens. First, we're going to increase it to 0.3. That's a nice little, like, almost 20% increase in gravity, and uh, honestly, I, I don't really notice much happening. I mean, maybe the top of this building is swaying a little bit more. Maybe these are leaning over a little bit more. I swear, I didn't gain weight. It's just the gravity of the planet increased. And I need to eat less ice cream. Alright, let's go ahead and push it up to point four. All right, at this point, I am actually seeing some noticeable changes in the planet. Um, most notably, this oil rig is definitely getting bent. The flag on it's getting bent. The trees are starting to sway a little bit more aggressively. Um, the dome looks less circular, too. I don't know if that's just me, if I'm crazy, or if it's an actual thing, but... Uh, Pretty sure. Pretty sure. So let's go ahead and push it up to 0.5. Now I think we're going to start getting interesting stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, so we actually have some sand from this mountain falling into this underground storage area. The top of the dome is starting to actually fall and hit the buildings. There is a lot of stress on these, these walls. This one looks thinner, so I think this one's going to snap first. And let's see what else we got. I mean, these underground areas are still holding up uh, under the city. And the city itself, not looking terrible, even though we've doubled the gravity. In, in real life, if we doubled the gravity, it would not be looking this good, I promise. <laughs> uh, look, even the helicopter's still holding up. It's still in the air. That's crazy. All right. Point seven. Oh, here we go. The dome is so, so close to completely collapsing. It's literally being held up by the buildings. Um, oh, the spire on this. Look at that. Look at that go. Wee, wee. It's actually generating quite a bit of heat from all of the movement. Helicopter is barely in the air now. These trees are having a hard time, too. All right. All right. It looks like the uh, the submarine's having a fun time, too. It's being attacked by evil plants, which are stealing all the water. All right. Well, let's go ahead and turn gravity up even more to point eight. The entire planet is definitely compressing. I can see it. I can see the compression happening. The, the helicopter is no longer able to stay in the sky. It's hitting the building. That tree is really angry <laughs> it's really unhappy about this but nothing too dramatic yet and remember we've almost we've almost done four times the initial gravity all right four times the initial gravity now this this looks really not good <laughs> this this dome is not good oh we have more sand falling in just being pulled down this hole Oh, you know what? It's fine. Everything's fine. I mean, other than that tree dancing. I mean, and the building's dancing a little bit. Could be worse. Could be worse. So let's pump it up to 1.2. Okay, now things are getting real. We have the collapse of the dome. We have this giant rock falling in. We've got all of the sand falling into here. It looks like something happened by the volcano. Oh, we have real collapse happening. These underground uh, little bunkers and stuff under the city have all collapsed inwards. Oh. Some of them are still alive, though. The buildings themselves are, are very angry. They're, they're really trying to not break, but they are... Uh, <laughs> they're not having a good time. Oil rig is, is not looking too hot either. Okay, 
Well, I'm in the submarine, so I'm okay. I'm in the submarine, everything's... I'm pinned to the ground in the submarine, but it could be worse. I could be having a literal building falling on my head. All right, let's push it up to 1.4. I see just random bits of the ground are starting to break now. Um, this stuff that's kind of like floating around, that's just stuff on a different layer, so it doesn't interact with any of the stuff on the normal layer. Just ignore it. Man, everything is just getting very violent. The ocean's getting violent. The core is getting incredibly violent. <laughs> Okay, let's go to 1.6. Okay, those final little bunkers and stuff are starting to collapse. The city is now a good, like, 20 meters underground on one side. We have some sort of tectonic plate kind of forming here and cracking through here. Um... This is still, this is still alive. All right, let's push it up to one point. Oh no, two, I guess two. And now we're starting to see the collapse of the actual earth structures. You know, we've got, we've got all of this sand and stone, which is cracking. We've got basically structural failure of the planet itself. The pressure from the core is causing water to be actually ejected from the oil rig now that's kind of funny and the core is growing in size well i mean it's generating a lot of heat having everything crushing all right i'm gonna push this up to 2.4 okay now the core is actually uh trying to escape a little bit it almost did it got very close i mean there's a lot of pressure in there a lot of pressure I'm going to tweak that a little bit just to be a little bit more realistic. There would definitely be a lot more energy coming from the core in this situation. And uh, let's go ahead and go another step. Bring this multiplier up to 2.7. We see cracks forming all throughout the earth. The city's buildings are just kind of bent and just warped around each other. And we're... Oh, no! The submarine's getting sucked into the ground. That's so unfortunate. I'm still alive, though. I definitely would have survived to this point. I'm just skilled like that. All right. Now, 3.0 is giving us total collapse. Okay, the city's actually getting sucked in. The city is actually getting sucked into the core. Oh, man. It's like... It's got, like, a plug, but... Any second now, it could just slip and the entire thing could just get pulled in. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Crazy stuff happening down here. Very crazy things indeed. Okay, I may have pushed that a little bit too far. All right. The core has a lot going on. Everything going in is getting nice and melted, but, you know... Uh, there's more that can happen. I mean, it still looks like a planet. We haven't reached maximum crush. All right. Let's do 3.5-ish. Honestly, not a whole lot changed. Getting close to 4 now. I think that this crust here is going to snap soon. I mean, the oil rig still exists. There's still trees. I mean, it could be worse. I think this is a weak spot too. This this could this could definitely break 100%. The city's not looking too hot either. All right. 4.2. Here we go. Here we go. The entire the entire planet is just shaking violently. Do you see the waves, the shaking from the core? It's very angry. It's a very angry planet. All right. Five. Oh, man. 
Yeah, we're now at 25 times the... Wait, no. 20 times the original gravity. And oh, that's it! The crust is given up! Oh, man, the crust of the planet just gave in. Now the entire thing is being pulled by convection into the center and being melted down. Except for the city, which, once again, is just doing much better than I... I mean, it's a giant mass of metal over here, but you can still kind of recognize what it was. All right. We're going to turn it up to six. I mean, it's just a very angry planet now. You've got these ripples from all of this, all of this compressed mass, and it's just continually being pulled in and then exploding outwards. We're getting close to like black hole territory here, where physics are just not going to apply anymore. All right, seven. All right, at a level seven, we are seeing that convection is now pulling pretty much everything and it looks like the city is actually finally going to get sucked in here we go oh yep all the buildings all of them just got crunched together and ripped apart in the center look at it getting ripped apart holy moly all right there is no longer any recognizable structure the entire earth is unrecognizable at this point but we have to go further 14 all right, 14 is bringing us to this bouncing ball of mass. It's trying to collapse in on itself, but it's just unable to. If we continue, we're either going to get one of two things to happen. One, basically infinite gravity, where it's just going to collapse down on itself and form a black hole. Or two, it's going to just explode from the energy in a supernova. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to double it again and... We are now getting this really interesting behavior. Very liquid. It's just bouncing. Bouncing. Even more energy. It's bouncing faster, but not as much actually. It's kind of it's kind of actually collapsing down into one point. We may actually go into black hole territory. Doubling it again. Oh, oh, it's so violent. It's so violent. But it's shrinking still. It's still shrinking. All right. Doubling it again. And we are getting to the point at which I'm not sure what is even going to happen. It's able to collapse down so much further. But it's also so much more violent when it loses that stability and flies out. Doubling it again. And... Oh my goodness. This is so cool. <laughs> okay. Let's do it again. Oh boy. There's just so much energy. There is so much energy. It's starting to not even like look like, look like an actual object anymore. It's just a, a mass of energy. And as I continue to increase... Uh, I feel like that is exactly what's happening. It's just... Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to keep turning it up. Okay, we have reached fusion now. But we must go further. And as we continue to go further, and now gravity is at like a billion levels higher than it was initially. We actually get this really neat star shape that's being formed. This right here is basically the closest in this game we can get to a black hole nothing can escape it i mean it is ejecting over time but it immediately falls back in all of that material oh that's such a cool shape it's forming i've never actually pushed the physics this far before this is a black hole in space simulation toolkit oh and if i turn it up higher it just exploded. The physics engine could not handle it any higher. I mean, I did set it to like several quintillion or whatever. But ba, ba bam It's over. Wonder if I turn it down. Yeah, if I turn it down, it'll just collapse back in. Oh, that's really neat. Well, there you go. That's what happens when you turn Earth into a black hole. I hope you enjoyed.
Leave a like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you all next time.